Before we get started, it's important for me to mention that I am not a professional grader and nor am I a professional presser. <laughs> I am a guy that loves comics, that likes to get comics graded and needed to find a way to save himself just a little bit of money by taking on some of that work myself. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I was super reluctant to do it super nervous to actually start this process of exposing my comics to moisture and buying the press and putting comics in the press. It seemed like a really daunting task. It seemed like something that I just didn't want to tackle. But thankfully, uh, because of my wife, uh, I actually decided to make the jump about a couple of months ago. And to be honest with you, it has gone incredibly well. I've pressed probably over a hundred books, including books that are actually worth some money, not necessarily 50 cent and dollar books. I've actually pressed some books that are actually worth some money and had uh, some of those books actually recently come back from CGC with, with 9.8s and 9.6s. So I feel like I'm in a really good place to at least be able to put together a video to say, here's how I do it. Now, with that said, you are going to have to look at the things that I'm doing, the things that I'm saying, and evaluate whether you want to follow that same approach because everyone's expectations and experiences are a little bit different. So I just like to put those caveats out there so that people don't watch this thinking that I am a professional presser. That is not the case. I am still learning even after having pressed as many comics as I have over the last couple of months. So, with that very long preamble, let's go ahead and jump into the video. All right, so I've gone ahead and, and changed the setup here. I've actually brought in the Transfer Crafts uh, press. You can see the aluminum plate that is at the bottom because we have a heating element and a, a metal plate at the top. So we've placed that on the bottom and we'll cover that up in just a second with a Teflon sheet to protect the bottom side of, of the comic. Over here, we have essentially uh, set up uh, or mimicked exposing a couple of comics uh, to moisture for a few hours. One thing that I'll mention here is that I typically will expose a comic to moisture for anywhere from four to six hours. And I give that range because of the different materials out there for comics, the different sizes of comics, et cetera, et cetera. For a modern comic, it may only really require maybe a four-hour uh, exposure time. And a larger comic like a king-size Silver Age book may require a little more time. Uh, but what you'll notice is that when a comic is, is definitely ready to come out of the moisture is when it starts to get some waviness, uh, possibly some warping. And maybe even uh, some of the pages, like the cover, will start to curl up at the edges. Rest assured that, that the book is okay, but, but those are just some telltale visible signs that the comic has taken in enough moisture to allow the press to be able to do its work. So for me, with my setup, with the amount of moisture, with the size of my container, four to six hours is typically adequate time for my comic to be inside the bath. And so what I wanna do now is to actually uh, mock up how I will actually set a comic up to go inside the press. And this, this is really just for illustrative purposes only. When I'm dealing with actual comics that are going into the press, I'm much more careful with how I handle them, but I just wanna kind of show you guys two methods for how I will use the backing boards and the Teflon sheets to protect the comic. Uh, and again, this is just for, for, for the purposes of, of understanding how I use these resources.
So because of the size of my press, I have the ability to press two comics at the same time. But because of the uh, backing board that is in here, if I were to place both of them in their right side up, the backing board on the left might actually impact the comic on the right. And so I like to flip it over to give a little bit of space between the two comics to allow, uh, you know, to make sure that they don't uh, impact one another inside, especially when I cover it up and all that good stuff. But this is just a safer way to go. And again, because I have that aluminum plate in the bottom, it is going to give me the right amount of heat to be able to um, press that book with the appropriate amount of, of heat and pressure. Now, what's important here is that if I have a comic that has more cover damage I will put it right side up this comic over here didn't have much cover damage so that's why I put it you know uh, cover down and then the, the back cover up it actually works quite nicely but again you you may have to make some adjustments move some things around again depending upon the comics that you're working with the size of your press etc etc and you also notice that I put down a Teflon sheet on top of the aluminum uh, plate that is again to provide cover uh, and protection to the comic on the bottom side because that aluminum does get hot and now that I have the two comics in here essentially what I would do is to place two Teflon sheets on top and I just like two because I, I think that with the heating element being in the top of this one I want to give the comic as much protection as possible and again this is just goes back to how I've always done it and so I just continue to do it because I know that that method works you might be able to do one you may need more I honestly don't know So I basically just placed the two Teflon sheets on top of the uh, comic and then I just drop the handle and then press it down. And then from there, I will go ahead and set the timer uh, and also the temperature. For mine, what I do is I typically set the temperature at 175 degrees and then I set the timer for 25 seconds. So I will put my comics in there. I will drop that handle and then I will basically allow the timer to start counting down. Of course, once it reaches its temperature of 175. And so I feel like that 25 seconds is more than enough time to expose the comic to actual heat. Uh, and then once the 25 seconds expires, I actually turn the press off and then just leave the comic in there for anywhere from, you know, four to six hours. I tend to go with closer to six hours than four hours. And again, a lot depends again, like with the bath on what type of comic you're pressing, how damaged that comic is etc etc so anywhere from four to six hours seems to work pretty well for most comics